Hello YouTubers, this is John Upon Trade uh, once again. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to uh, unbox this uh, the new uh, release uh, DJI Osmo Action Camera. It just released uh, on uh, May uh, the 15th and I just bought it this one on uh, May 31st. So I'm just going to unbox it. I just bought this one on uh, 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 this one here. Um, this guy right here on Best Buy. <coughs> um, I'm going to see <coughs> what this looks like. This right here. See that? All small action DJI. This game. There you go. And this is a nice uh, camera. I was been uh, reading about, you know, research everything about this uh, camera when they came out and compare with the Go GoPro 7 and um, you know they are all the same you know in DJI just it only came out with this kind of camera the action camera because normally are uh, they have the GoPro 1 from 1 to 7 right now so I'm going to unbox this one this is the first uh, camera from uh, DJI that is almost like a GoPro right there but the one that it came out before it was the uh, the uh, uh, Osmo uh, pocket one the pocket uh, camera just a little tiny uh, camera and also they always have the gimbal where is you know you can use to establish your iPhone or what kind of phone you're going to use so I'm going to unbox this and uh, I will uh, check this one what is uh, this inside you know and like I said I'm comparing this before I bought this one I want to make it sure which one is the best one but like I said GoPro is a nice camera it's American made you know that is the nice uh, brand that we have here it was uh, established that one it was uh, uh, founded around uh, 2002 by Nick Woodman and he came out with that it was in the headquarters in San Mateo California and this DJI this is uh, this is like uh, made in USA and made in China so this is was the DJI founded by uh, Frank Wang is in um, Shenzhen Guangdong China in 2006 so this is a different made in China and made in USA. So yeah, so well see identical GoPro and this is almost the same. You can shot 4K uh, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second like that whatsoever and also 12 uh, megapixel, you know, it's all the same, you know, and and GoPro they are doing the hyper smooth and this one they have this uh, rock steady that they came out with this DJI Osmo so and plus this one I believe when I uh, read the uh, review they have two uh, uh, screen one is one in the front and one in the back not like the GoPro they have only one in the back and and always in the front is all digital so it's different so and the GoPro have a square square camera here in the front the lens is is a uh, square and this one is round so and you can see right there this is uh, Osmo action now I'm uh, going to open this one up and I need to see what's inside of it so like I said I need to see what this look like inside of this uh, okay see here Uh, what this look like it we have right here this is the uh, manual right here so little tiny manual you need the magnifying lens to read those and let's see what's inside here okay. All right. 
okay this is the one that you put it in your helmet right here you know and you have another one here you have to put that on the bottom of that um, adapter and right here you got this uh, uh, little uh, knob down here it's like a wing nut right here that you can put it on that uh, adapter it's right on this one there you go yep. and lot more okay cable for the uh, USB right here it's okay so you can charge that by your uh, you know in your laptop or in uh, any charger wall and then I believe this is the battery right here all right Let's see as you can see okay let me show it to you I don't know if you this is the there you go you see those uh chinese character right there so this means this is like really made in china but it's you know it's a good quality made of china so like i said very nice dji they made they make, they make a really good camera on that and if you open this one up right here okay we have this plastic here in the front okay and this one on the back can open the one up here to remove that cover this is the casing you can remove that right there so that's what this looks like it all right so this is the case okay all right so remove that plastic right there so this is where you're gonna put your battery here so just gonna put this one here so we're just gonna put that okay oops in the other way there you go so you need to push that there you go so you need to push that there's a little knob over here and also here to open that and <clears throat> yeah it just look like a gopro so and then here i believe this is the charging port and the uh, mini mini SD card okay that's one right here so I'm before I'm going to turn this thing on I need to uh, pull it charge it first okay and then I'm gonna show it to you later on uh, I just only this that this is you can put on the bottom here to put it in your you know you want to put in your helmet to put this thing on the bottom here here you can just very easy quick release there you go then you just press that there so to turn it to get off again so yeah that's one and then uh i already bought it uh my uh sd card ready because i have one of these before so i just gonna use this one I just gonna use a um, this is already good one for uh, you know like a high definition camera most likely uh, mo uh, the 4k high definition uh, this is a hundred and twenty eight gigabyte this is what I'm going to use you are just gonna put this thing here right there it's gonna be insert on the bottom right there just insert that Just insert that there. I get sure you're gonna click that thing there. It's gonna click when you put it in. All right. Just put that right there. Kind of a little bit harder to push that there. Okay. So when you put that. SIM card here, it's kind of a little bit hard to put it in. There you go. All right, that's the one. I already put the uh, SIM card there, the micro SD, 128 gigabyte. That's a good. That's good enough. All right, to close that thing there. And this is a waterproof, 11 uh, 11 meters. So this is really deep to use this thing in the water. So yeah, this look like it. 
Yep, and yeah, it's nice, very nice camera. Okay, I'm going to try this one and uh, going to shoot tomorrow in the beach, uh, on the beach. So again, I'm going to use this one right there. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, Osmo Action. You just uh, charge it. So I'm going to uh, try this and let me turn it on. All right, here you go. All right, it was set on 40K, uh, uh, 4K, 60 frames per second. See, all this is all the settings right here. You can also talk to this thing to uh, switch screen. You know, you say switch screen, you're gonna switch screen. So it went to the other side right here. You see that? And I said, I just said switch screen, and it's a switch screen on the other side. So oh, also you can tap it right here. It goes like that. It goes in the back right here. So you can do, you know, you can talk to it or you can, uh, you know, it's a voice command or you can touch with two finger right here on the screen. So right there, it's already 4K, 60 frames per second. So you can put that to 50, 48, 30. You know, you can adjust that, it's up to you. And this is already in a rock steady, which is like in a GoPro, they use a hyper smooth. And this in the GI Osmo uh, action camera, they use it a rock steady. So I already check all of this in website, you know, research everything. So, you know, identically they are all this, this same. The other one is nice, you know, the GoPro is nice. But they have some, you know, problem also, and also this one has a problem also. So, so, you know, like I said, you cannot choose which is which is which is the best one to, you know, for uh, both of them, you know. So for me, I'm just gonna try this uh, Osmo. So, yeah, and uh, they said the first, the first time it came out, this one has a problem with the, you know, the camera when you, you when you do it this way. It's kind of like the kind of like um, uh, uh, you know, it's like the catching up the the video is too slow, you know. It's not like not like the GoPro. It's like you see this one is it is good now because they already uh, updated the uh, the system. I think so. It just came out today, so I just updated that. And then you can also update that in your in your iPhone. It was connected to your iPhone, so at the same time. So at the iPhone, you need to download that DJI uh, uh, apps right there, so that it will compatible to your iPhone. It will works with that together, and you can see also there. And and I already update this one also. So right now they are good. Look at that. Because the first time they came out. When you do it this way and you remove your hands it's still there you know just like late very late to catch up that camera so but right now it's the same it's, it's already good look at that so before he get a big problem on that before when they came out the first time well you just need to wait for the update so it will be you know like to to fix those problem like that so first generation of course so if they updated this the uh, software it should be okay see before you just put it this way you like to it this way it's you know it's catching up very late you know but right now look at that it's nice now and uh, so it's a good camera very nice and I'm going to uh, install this to uh, I, I uh, order the uh, gimbal uh, DJI uh, gimbal I'm going to put this one over there to use that you know and right now I don't have any uh, 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 tripod or uh, uh, all this uh, selfie stick or whatever like that. So, you know, I'm just starting to do this thing. So, very nice, very nice camera. I, like I said, my first camera, I've been looking and looking. It's in first GoPro until 7, I believe, uh, in a couple of months, maybe in September, 
GoPro 8 will come out and then you know it's much better maybe uh, you know so and this is the first one for DJI but DJI they are really good on making the drones drones they make really really good it's not like the the GoPro Karma they only make one of that and then it got a lot of big problem already I was reading about it and watching this uh, you know research everything and also and the DJI drone they are really really good I see all those drones that they make it was really good very nice so hopefully this one is really nice too to use it you know for the start for taking a videos or taking a photos or using blogs you know so blogs on that you know taking video on every time in my job you know so this should be nice this is a 4k all right okay uh like i said nice camera okay all right dji all small action camera all right okay okay all right once again this is jackable trade thank you for watching thank you bye bye